Yeah, so we just, you know, wrapped up practice 11 today. Um, you know, things are looking good for the team. Uh, you know, tough practice, you know, had to find a way to push through and fight through some adversity, you know, and really nice day outside. Uh, thought the guys pushed really hard, fought, you know, was it all perfect? No, we got a lot of things to work on. In terms of the running back group, I think we have a really solid group this year, a lot of experience coming back. Um, I think there's a little something special brewing with those guys. They're pushing, they're just acting a little different than they have in the past. And um, I think they're the guys, you know, I think they're realizing that it's their turn to play and, and become those kind of players. And I'm really excited to see what the season brings for them. Really excited right now. You're a little more than a weekend practices and stuff like that. How are things shaking out? How's the competition going? Any surprises? What are you looking at? Yeah, I, I tell you, there's been a, a lot of competition going, you know, we've historically have played three running backs and, you got a group of nine guys trying to fight for three spots, you know, to see who's going to play in those spots. I think one of the surprises uh, this year has been uh, Kendrell Williams. Kendrell Williams, you know, the Karen Crow native right there, has really had a great summer. Has really pushed hard, really taken the next step. You know, last year he's kind of one year out of the ACL. Wasn't quite himself yet. But I thought he's done a really good job this summer of, you know, gaining the weight he needs to, putting the muscle he has back on. You know, the guy's a competitor. The guy's won 13 state championships. You know, it's a record in high school. And uh, I was really excited to see him have the summer he's had and so far the camp he's had and ready to see how he progresses on through. you talking about uh, players building muscle coming into the season and such. Uh, Draylon Washington told us he put on like four or five pounds of muscle coming into that. How great was that to see him? as bulky and strong, ready to go. You know, uh, Bonesaw told me, you know, man, Draylon's, you know, he's a workhorse in the weight room, and and he has, and for a while, I was like, man, you're kind of putting on a little weight, Dre, you know, and but he, it's all muscle. His 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 body fat percentage hasn't changed. He's just been really, really working hard, and I'm really excited about him, uh, you know, being 5'8", you know, 229, 30 pounds, that's, that's a hard thing to tackle, big old legs, and uh, I'm really excited. And he put he, he had a great offseason. He's he's worked really hard. The kids faced a lot of adversity in his life, and you know I, I can't be more proud of how he's handled things, you know, in, in his life, you know, with everything he's faced. And he he's, he puts all that on the side, really works, and then he's you know the best big brother his little sister can ask for. So uh, really excited about that kid. I love that kid to death. He's done a great job. Staying with him, do you think the muscles slowed him down at all, or do you think he's got that same speed, but now with just truck strength? Well, I think he's carrying it re really well. You know, I wouldn't let him if he if he wasn't, but I think he's carrying it very well. Um, you know, as long as he can manage to keep the same speed and same, you know, uh, lateral quickness, I'm good with it. You know, I, everybody's a little different. Everybody holds weight a little differently, and but he has put on, you know, really quality size, and it, I think it's going to help him in the long run, you know. You have a good problem. You have Cylon Perry, you know, Scott Draylon Washington. How do you balance these two guys in the game? Do you want them both in the game? Do you, do you feature one per game? What yeah, I think we, you know, you try to balance them, you know, the most you can and kind of whoever's having the hotter hand in that game, you let them go a little bit more. And um, every game's a little different. You know, what are we playing in? You know, are we more spread out? Are we more, you know, tight and knit and grit? You know, what is – each game plan present and then put the players that because they're all a little different right they all do things a little differently they're all a little better at one thing or another and just trying to put them in the possession position to be the best player they can be not ask them to do anything that's out of their comfort zone you know to sort of piggyback off of that though the Draylon and Zylon are sort of almost contrasting styles and in, in, in the way they they run is that going to be sort of a game plan utilizing those two different styles? You got one guy who can absolutely bru bruise you, and if you're not careful, the next guy can pop in and take it 60 yards. Sure, sure. I think, you know, it's kind of, you know, I always refer back to 2019. We had, you know, Elijah Mitchell, Trey Regis, and then Raymond Calais, you know, and Elijah and, and, you know, Trey did a lot of, you know, bruising, you know, running in between the tackles, and then we'd pop, you know, Raymond Calais in there, and he'd take it however far, you know. And um, I think – that yes, it, it could be very much game plan. It also depends on what problems the defense that week is presenting to you, and what's the best matchups you can create. But I do think that uh, you know both of those guys are, are dynamic in their own ways, and to our advantage, we got to use them the right way. You know, and I think we will.
with Draylon's new strength that we talked about. Is he going to be like your goal line feature kind of back? You got to get that two yards for first down kind of guy, or again, is it just whatever the situation? Yeah, he very well could be. I also think Bill Davis fits into that category. Bill Davis is, you know, another 225 pound back. That's a, you know, 10, 900 meter that can go as well. And he's had a really good camp. Uh, you know, I think Zalan's got his, you know, Zalan has bulked up to 205 pounds. You know, Zalan played last year at 195, 200. You know, he's put on five, you know, seven pounds of muscle. And so I think, you know, all three of them have a chance to find their way in that goal line package. You know, sometimes uh, it, it's it's about blowing it up in there. Sometimes it's about finding the small crease. So it just, it depends on the week, you know, and I think that all three of them have a chance to, to fit in that role. So last year at this time, you didn't tell us that Jacob Kaboli was going to have this great year. So that that kind of surprised a lot of us. So who is it going to be this year? Man, I'm, I'm for one, I'm really proud of that kid. That kid's he played with the Saints the other night. And I'm excited about him, um, you know, moving forward. And he he did have a heck of a year. Uh, I think all three have a chance to shock you. I, I really do. I think it's you know it's it's going to be about you know us trying to get them in the position to you know use their talents the best. And I think you know Coach Des does a phenomenal job of, of game planning that along with the rest of our staff and Coach Farmer and Coach Ross within the run game. Um, I think out of those three, I'm, I'm hoping for all three of them to have a great year, to be quite honest. I, I really am. Um, and if one has a phenomenal one, we, I'm not going – I'm good with that too. So, But I think they all three have a chance to have, you know, the breakout year, everyone wants to say, you know. But it's going to come down to who can execute when, it, when the lights come on. So we're going to find out. Obviously, we, none of us want injuries. But if that happens, what is the depth in the room looking like? I think, you know, this year I'm, I'm really excited about what we have, you know, um, in, in, in terms of depth. I think, you know, like I was talking about Kendrell Williams has had a great camp, great summer. I think he, you know, he's one that could get in the mix of those three, depending on, you know, I think Tyler Citizen and Chaz Ward and then the two young backs I got coming, you know, with Hutch Twilley and Steven Blanco, I think are all good players. You know, the young ones just got to naturally, they're going to learn and they're keep they're doing a phenomenal job of learning the offense right now. I think they just we got to keep them coming on and, and down the road, you know, they get four games, you know, if and we might not redshirt them depending how it plays out, but they get four games to play. And if you got to use them, you can. And but I think those two guys, you know, could be ready to play, you know, going towards the end of the season. And uh, but I do think right there in the middle with, you know, Tyler Citizen and Chaz Ward, you know, Kendrell, I think all those guys um, are viable backups, also great special teams players for us as well. Do any of them have a unique special skill that you could use, you know, in a, in a certain situation in a game or are they all just kind of, you know? I think this year we're more balanced than we have been. You know, like last year, Jacob Cabote was, had a wide receiver skill set, so you can use him outside the backfield and things like that. I think all these guys do all three of those things, you know, in terms of running the ball, protection, and anything out of the backfield – all very close to the same. Uh, so I think this year it's going to be a lot easier in terms of substitutions is, you know, who's in is in, you know, and can don't have to worry about subbing on third down. I think all three of them do a great job on third down. I think they all do a good job out of the backfield, and I think they all run the ball really good. So I think they're more comparable to each other than we have been maybe in the past. So I'm looking forward to – I don't think we really have to specialize – you know, in, in each one, maybe here or there for one or the other, depending on th they might be something that they develop that they show to do, you know, things a little differently. But as of right now, I think, you know, just rolling them through, keeping them fresh, and, you know, by the end of the fourth quarter, you know, hopefully popping some big runs, you know. Looking back on last season, obviously Draylon had been born on off the field that run with the strap in and the Um Did we, was that, how much of an impact do you think that had on him? And, and is he really because when we talked to him the other day, it seemed like it's a better situation. Than, and, and so, like, that, he, he really is mentally and physically ready. I mean, just like you said, just like anybody, you know, you get news like that about your little sister, that's going to punch anybody in the gut. And I thought he handled it phenomenally. I mean, just unbelievably well. I, I was, I mean, I don't know if I could handle it the way he did. And he really did a, a good job with all that. And that is a tough deal. And I think, obviously, you know, 
he he left those he he had a way to turn it off a little bit in practice and he got through practice last year and and did and had a great year had just did absolutely fine and I think this year you know obviously we've had good news out of that department you know with his sister um which you know we're all happy for and um to imagine a little girl going through something like that that's that's hard and but she's she's doing better and I think he's in a better place because of it um you know they put on a uh, fundraiser rag ball tournament for her and he's he stayed positive through the whole thing and I think that's what she needed and he did a good job of it and I think she's better so he will obviously be better uh, so I, I'm really proud of how he's handled all that I, th I think he's obviously he's in a way he's in a better spot now because of her progression you know through it all and but I'm looking forward you know to good things from this year and and you know hopefully you know his little sister stays on the course she's on right now you know We've heard about some tweaks with Coach Former coming in that could impact the running game positively. Is it like kind of how 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 could that help your running? Um, it, it's it's really it's a lot of the same things. I think he you know ball is ball. Every everybody runs the same play. Everybody runs inside zone, outside zone, and counter and everything. I think he does. Uh, he's done a good job of maybe seeing things a little differently how you format it or, you know, how he might block a handle a certain front. Um, and I think he's done a good job. You know, Steve Farmer's a great guy. He comes to my room all the time and we, we talk about how he sees it. So we're on the same page. I feel like we have good, you know, continuity between us and which also relates to our players in terms of where we want the back to fit. And we're all on the same page. I think we've done a better job this year. Um, and not to say last year we were not, but I think this year we've done a great job of all being – dialed in on the same page to what we are trying to accomplish in the run game. Without Jacob, is throwing to the backs going to be as big a part this year, or do you think do you think the skill set is there for that to still happen? Oh, I think it'll still be there. I think all three of those guys catch the ball well at the backfield. I think Kendrell catches the ball at the backfield really well. I think all I mean, I think it's still there. I don't think I'll see much change in terms of throwing the ball to the back um, you know, like we have in the past. We've actually had a couple of good plays the last few days throwing the ball to the back out of the backfield. So I feel real good about it right now. What besides the obvious, which sounds like it's kind of been taken care of, what what is Zy what's the what's the thing that Zion's gotta do besides what we all have talked about in the past that, to become that big play player that it looks like he can be? I think he's just gotta continue to, you know, push himself every day. You know, his Everything about that kid has come a long way. He has done a phenomenal job this year. He's put on the sides we asked him to. He has done everything I've asked him to do. I think really it's just going to be staying consistent day in and day out, you know, not losing sight of the ball security, not losing sight. And that's for every one of them. You know, we've made a big emphasis on that. I think the next step for him is – and. He's starting to become – is becoming a leader in the room, you know, a leader in the room and taking the next step saying – and I could be the guy. I could be a guy that people follow behind, but I have to do it the right way too, and I think he's doing that. And I'm really excited about him. I think he's pushing himself harder than he's ever have. I, I'm really proud of that, uh, how he's going about camp and the summer and his off-season program.